<laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. You know, I'm in the mountains enjoying a white Thanksgiving. It is just marvelous outside. I just have to sit by the fireplace and enjoy. <laughs> but darling, I wanted to stop by and ask you a few questions. I hope you don't mind. You know, I had to break out my pearls for this because my pearls I have to clutch. <laughs> How are you, darling? I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope your turkey is not dry. You know, I have the best turkey in the world, in the world. It's just juicy and full flavor. Yes. Leah Ray, the turkey's good. <laughs> I know you don't like turkey and you think it's dry, but it's good because mine comes all the way in from Brazil. <laughs> it is the best, the best in the world. Best in the world. I would not kid you. All right, so Leah Ray has tagged me on some Thanksgiving questions and I'm about to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, doll. So, for the first question, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? <laughs> I have several because you know they're the best in the world. But what is yours? My favorite Thanksgiving side dish. I mean, there's so many because you know I make everything good, sis. I make everything good. <laughs> I think. It's the macaroni and cheese, and I I can't front. Some years it's a hit, and some years it's a miss. No, I only missed one year. I don't know what I did. I was probably still asleep. I like macaroni and cheese too. That's my favorite. But when the macaroni and cheese and the candy hams meet, it's like the perfect marriage. Oh, that combo good. So I'm gonna like that's 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 my joint. Oh, the sweet and the savory good. And you know I make everything good. <laughs> My mom doesn't make that good. It tastes nasty. It's yucky. She can't cook. It tastes nasty. I sneak and give it to the dog. <laughs> Poopy told the dog probably get my food and her food too. Baby girl's food. <laughs> no wonder the dog is overweight. <laughs> what is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Ha! Oh my gosh, you cannot have a Thanksgiving feast without the wonderful, wonderful desserts. What's yours? Well, honestly, I only make carrot cake and I have to really be in the mood because it takes a long time. But I love Thanksgiving dessert. My favorite is uh, sweet potato pie. And I've been making that whew, for many, many, many moons. And when I was home with my mom, that's what we have, the sweet potato pie. Now that sweet potato pie is good. Not everybody can make good sweet potato pie. That, 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 that hits the spot. All right, Leah Ray, I know you like your apple pie, but mm, they got good ones at Popeyes. Just let you know, girl. <laughs> but I love sweet potato pie and it has to be cold and I love it cold. Oh, darling, I can't wait to hear this one. What is your ideal Thanksgiving outfit? <laughs> you know that drip? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wear the finest all over the world, darling. I'm wearing Gucci today. Yes, and I have this faux mink stole I have on. You know, I would never, never abuse the animals, but it's the finest in the world, the finest. Yes, yes. And this, this is just wonderful, darling. It's wonderful, I just love her, yes. But we're not talking about me. What do you like to wear on Thanksgiving? Typically, I don't really go anywhere for Thanksgiving, so something comfortable, like comfortable. I have one today, I have on some little stretchy pants. We really don't dress up for Thanksgiving, so it's usually just the kids and I, so we're home, so we're comfortable. It doesn't hurt to have that little elastic around the waist. What? Cause I do eat, y'all know I put it down, honey, and damn. I ain't know how to dress, I like to dress up too. I know you do too, right? I like to wear my pajamas, because they're cute. Look at my Tweety Bird shirt. Oh, darling, what is your best Thanksgiving memory? Oh, we just travel so much, darling. Every year is the best. Every year is the best. What is yours? Doing all that talking. Is the food ready yet? The turkey ready yet? 
Mac and cheese, you can leave that right there. I'm not, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> I remember when Uncle John got drunk and his pants fell down. <laughs> now, baby girl, you know you shouldn't be talking about Uncle John like that. You know you shouldn't be talking about him like that. That was funny, though. <laughs> that was funny. Hmm. What is my best Thanksgiving memory? I think one year, the girls and I, Clinton didn't want to go. We got up early. I think we put the turkey in the oven. I don't remember. And we got up early and we went down to the Thanksgiving parade in Houston. And of course, we compared it to the Thanksgiving parade in New York, which there's no comparison, but it was still a nice experience. But when we ate, we ate outside on the patio and that year the weather was amazing and we ate in our backyard and we had the light it was just so nice and we all sat around the table and said what we're thankful for so i think every year i would say thanksgiving is the one time of year where everyone is committed to eating together bobby do you remember that year when we ate in the backyard and stuff that it was just it was just really nice. So if I can remember, I'll insert a clip right here. Okay guys, <laughs> what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Yeah, that's what I wanna know. Hurry up so we can eat because our food's gonna get cold. I'm thankful for my family. Really? And the roof over my head. Okay, Clinton. <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful for my mother especially because she's taking care of us whenever our father left and she's been there for us this whole time and my sisters why because your sisters also look out for you too yes okay come on Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> just totally forget about me um i'm thankful for my family and my friends <laughs> and everything that you do for us and all the sacrifices you make so what are you thankful for Joy. <laughs> oh, oh, she done, she done called me Joy. Well, I'm thankful, although I rag y'all out and y'all get on my nerves, but I am thankful for you guys because you guys make life worth living, okay? Darling, what is your least favorite Thanksgiving dish? <laughs> Could you imagine? You have to scoop it and sneak it to the dog. <laughs> Spot, come here. <laughs> Oreo, you want a cookie? <laughs> what is yours? Well, you know I make everything good, so I'm not going to make anything that I don't like. But if I was to go to someone else's house, hunty, I'm not eating uh, any fruit salad stuff, fruit cake. I'm not eating that. I just don't put it on my plate. I'm not. I don't, I don't eat cranberry sauce. If I try, I may like have a little. Beep. So cranberry sauce. And actually, I do have cranberry sauce because there's always somebody around who likes cranberry sauce. So I do, I will, but I don't really eat it. But it's not bad. It's just, I don't know. I'm going to try it this year, though, again. Pew! <laughs> oh, darling, do you have any quirky Thanksgiving traditions? Hmm, I have several, but we'll save that for another time in another place. <laughs> Quirky Thanksgiving traditions. No, we don't have any quirky Thanksgiving traditions. No, do we, Bobby? I don't think so. No, we don't. No, we're just we're just regular, which is weird. <laughs> Nobody knows, but my tradition is that I give all my mom's food to the dog. <laughs> So we have Thanksgiving. She thinks I eat the food. But we don't do anything crazy. No, I'm just happy that they're, they're willing to be here and eat with mom. Because that's not something that we normally do on a regular basis. Because I guess life just gets in the way. So we don't do it very often. So I'm thankful for that. Oh, love. Where do you and your family celebrate Thanksgiving? 
Is it somewhere special? Do you travel all over the world like I do? <laughs> what do you do? We usually celebrate Thanksgiving at home. Um, before I had kids for five years, um, I had Thanksgiving at a homeless shelter for five straight years and I volunteered so I just ate with the homeless so they kind of became my family. And then once I had children, we just um, ate at home. Sometimes I would have friends come over. Once in a blue moon, we're invited to someone else's house but typically it's just the kids and I and we just eat together. But I wanna go to Aunt Mary's house to eat cause you know, Mom doesn't know how to cook really well. So I say, Aunt Mary, Aunt Mary, Aunt Mary. But you know what? We still have to have our food at home, okay? We still gotta have the food at home because I don't know what it is, but even later at night, depending on when we eat, I still have to have me a turkey sandwich. Lettuce, tomato, mayo, salt and pepper, good. And then the next day I make turkey tetrazzini, good. <laughs> Oh, what do you love the most about Thanksgiving? What is it? What is it that you love? Oh, my list can go on and on and on forever. Forever. Come on, girl, I'm ready to eat. Come on, come on. What do I love the most about Thanksgiving? I guess coming together um, as a family, and like I said before, it's the one time a year where um, the kids are committed to being home and we sit around the table and eat and say what we're thankful for. Because I will say, sadly, that's not something that we do very often. And so I do look forward to that. Except for one year, they made me so mad. But anyway, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, just being together with everyone and being with loved ones and I think that's, that's what I enjoy the most. Dolly, what do you think has changed the most since your first Thanksgiving? It is now 2020. 2020 has been one heck of a year. So, uh, what, what do you think has changed the most? Hmm, since the first Thanksgiving, you talking about back in 1621 and the Plymouth and all that? Well, I'm glad I could go to the grocery store and get everything we need instead of trying to hunt for it and so on and so forth, okay? And let's just, I, I'm in the 21st century and glad that I wasn't part of that having to grow all my food and hunt for uh, my turkeys and chickens and stuff. Mm -hmm. Lastly, my love, what are you thankful for? There's so much to be thankful for. What, what is it that you're thankful for? Duh, going to Aunt Mary's house to eat. I'm famished by the time I get there. I was like, I'm about to die. I am thankful for so many things. It has not been an easy road this year, but I'm thankful for, you know, my family, my, my friends, even though we don't see each other often, I'm thankful for my subscribers. You know, even though you guys are virtual, you guys keep me going, you keep me motivated. Even though my mom can't cook, I am grateful that she does try because she doesn't have to do that. So I am grateful for my mom. As Leah Ray say, thankful for a job, um, being an essential worker, thankful for that. And I see you over there. You say, she gonna save me? She gonna say something about me? She gonna say something about me? <laughs> And thankful for Bay Daddy. <laughs> um, been such a blessing, wonderful. And just, you know, overall thankful that I'm able to spread my joy and my love and my energy to, you know, my five subscribers that, you know, just love me to death. That's gonna turn into five million someday. <laughs> so I am thankful for all of that. More so, you know, of course, the God, you know, who always has my back, never lets me down, like ever. Even when I think I'm at the bottom of the pit, he just reaches down and pulls me up <laughs> some kind of way. But I am so thankful for my mom for giving birth to me because she did not have to. That's a whole nother story. She did not have to and neither me joy and having me live my life with joy and spreading joy and I've been this way 
all my life. And sometimes I feel as though it's my duty. I feel like it's my duty to spread my joy, my laughter, my silliness. And of course, I'm human, I have my moments and stuff. But more importantly, um, I think my joy that shines and touches the lives of others. And I'm thankful for the person that I am. Of course, I, you know, I have my issues that I could work on, but I'm thankful I'm me. <laughs> and I can share part of me with you. With that said, that was a wonderful, wonderful tag, Leah Ray, and thank you for thinking about me. I love you, and I love all of you, my subscribers, for supporting me, hanging in there with me. And um, I'm thankful for that because it has given me an outlet, which has also been therapeutic. So I love you. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Till next time, later.